Hi guys, it's that view girl again. It's summer in Ukraine. And you know what? My family decided to go to the village because cherries, sour cherries are ripe and they need to be picked. And then we also used this opportunity and we picked other veggies and fruits and berries we could find. So you can see a family garden and what is available there. These nice flowers, definitely I'm taking them home with me. Lilies. This is nice house. There's agros and I'll write English translation. Apples. Porychki. Very sour berries. And Kalina National Ukrainian berry. It's very good for your health. This is our well. And we came to pick cherries. These are uh, Malvo, traditional Ukrainian flowers that are often depicted in paintings. These iris, irises and lilies. What else do we have in the garden? Question I have for you, what do you think is a danger for our crops? For example, hot weather, maybe some animals or bugs or people. Smorodina again is here and more flowers and apples. More apples, will be, they will be ripening maybe in August, in September, depending on, on this um, type of apple. There's raspberry here, definitely ready to be picked. So these are beans. Everything is in neat rows. Cherry tomatoes, onions, bell peppers. You can hear nice words. This is carrot, parsley, more beans. So it's white style bean. And this is cucumber. This is what I was looking for for my salad. So you just look behind the leaves to get your cucumbers. And what else is in the next section? More cucumbers. So this is the size of our garden. Yes, and we will get this, um, we will dig out this potato in September. But we can actually start digging it out now already if we want to have some young potato. We like to prepare it with sour cream and some dill. Yes. These are like little dolls, so this is a uh, corn. You can play with it like with a doll. Hi, how are you? My name is Helena. Do you like my hair? You can see in this area we already dug up potatoes for food. Um, some some type of Maybe apples, I don't know. Maybe you can tell me what this is. And these are plums and they should be purple. 
So waiting for them to become purple, when they are ripe, they are nice and soft. And this is Yasen, right next to our house. Yasen, really big tree. And grapes, more cherries, some wood for winter. Uh, also, after viewing our garden, uh, what do you think we should grow there? What is the fruit or veggie that you like very much uh, that you think we, sh we should put on our table? Uh, and also, I want to uh, ask you a question. Are there any plants um, that you've never seen before and would you like to try them? Thank you for watching this video. Please like it and subscribe to the channel. Bye! Now we went to the area up the hill from the house and there are more bell peppers, more regular tomatoes, all well taken care of, weeded out, and then more flowers and this is flower, we love it, it's called Chernobrevci, every garden has it, more lilies, uh, yeah, and then also there should be tulips because my aunt was in Amsterdam and she purchased some tulips from Amsterdam so this is how our garden looks it's all just a garden for the house to, man to maintain the household but also there are fields separate fields to feed the livestock to grow also to grow potatoes or anything else okay there are cherries So, you see our neighbors have bees. They feed off of blooming trees and flowers. There's ras raspberry far out there. This is a uh, nuts. We say, oh yes, walnuts. Okay, so this is um, plants that stains, oh, but it's, uh, it's okay in moderate quantity. And when, when we were children, we would stain each other. That was a form of like torture or, I don't know, exciting game. So it looks like these apples, they are ripe because they are more yellow color. So let's try it. Mm. Soft and sweet. Children would love it. Isn't 